The Good Ride, avoiding reality part-time since 2006 and full-time since 2010. We're doing a comparison today between the Yes Greats, the, the Never Summer Prototype 2, and the Nitro Quiver Fury. Take it back. Nick on the Prototype 2. We're gonna start a doo-wop group. <laughs> yeah. But this is the repair comparison, the reparison, a comparison of three of the good rides favorite asymmetrical mountain freestyle plants. That's a mouthful, but um That's what she said. you know, um just to give you a quick summary, we got the proto, type two. We got the Yes Greats, and we got the Nitro Fury. They all have deeper and shorter heel side cuts and longer and shallower toe side cuts. It's really cool. All of these boards aren't the same years, but we're doing this at the end of the 2019 season. And just a little spoiler alert, going into 2020, they're all the same. So I thought I'd just do a little, do a little comparison well, a long comparison because they all carry over. Um, you know, boards are like cars. They don't always change every year. Maybe some very subtle tweaks, mm -hmm. but overall they're kind of the same. And we've got the Prototype 2, the Yes Greats, the Quiver Fury, um, 57, 57, and 51. Doesn't seem like a fair comparison when you yeah. say 51, but actually Get the girth board. of this board actually almost matches the surface area of these Definitely. it's still a little shorter but you know short this sh little shorter the and fatter ride yeah really does a um does a lot and i'm kind of in between a 51 and a 54. i chose to go for my boot size over my weight because those are the two most important things yeah. height doesn't really matter as much um and it's boot to me always first and weight second but if you know, but you have to be very careful with weight factoring it in. And uh, the 54 would fit my weight really well and I could just jam, but I wanted a little quicker turn initiation. I think we'll just start with the greats and say probably out of all three, both of us in the conditions we rode this day liked the greats the most. Lately, this reduced length and increased width yeah um is really fun and unique and this extra edge hold plus it's, it's probably cool the coolest top sheet oh yeah in the industry right now i think i love it yeah it's funny sometimes i'll be like i'll go out and i'll ride this and i'm like this is my favorite hands down yeah and then i'll ride this a couple days later and i'm like whoa i think i like this better yeah it's, it's and hard. i keep going back and forth but these other two kind of had some some standout spots this is really consistent too but it does change its personality the prototype 2 does change its personality underfoot when yeah. it gets harder it gets loose yeah i would say definitely it does get a little a little sloppy yeah and then the fury kind of has the standout for when you're like a, a few weeks ago i was out on a hard day like this i love those power pods and I went out and I just carved regular and switch all day. And that's where that board really lights up. But mm -hmm. it's got pop, it's got butterability. They all do really well. Um, and that one does well in all conditions, except it's just not quite as good in powder as these two are. But anyways, let's get into some flexing. Why don't, you wanna do the Flex honors, Nick? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So you can see it just, you know, nice medium-ish mid flex. flex. Yep. That almost like, and it's so easy to butter. Oh my gosh, yeah. In the tip and tail with that rocker, it feels medium soft. And I'll do this guy here. This is the prototype too. And it yeah. feels a little stiffer, 
um, but it has that same butter ability. But what's interesting about this, you feel the flex between the feet, where you feel the flex here and the tip and the tail. Tip and tail. This one was pretty soft, I thought, compared to these guys. Is it? It, it felt. It felt when I was riding it. It's um, a little less damp than yeah. the other two boards. Oh yeah, it's Maybe. got like. It feels actually a touch Slightly. stiffer from tip to tail than the grates. Slightly, yeah. yeah. So like, it feels like the flex of the grates in the waist. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then as you get the tip and tail in this, they bend a little easier. Where this feels consistent from tip to tail, yet all three of them butter well on snow. You know, let's get into like edge hole here. This has tapered mid bite and you can kind of see how it kind of comes down. Not tapered mid bite, sorry, asymmetrical mid bite. But you can see it comes in here in dents and tapers in at the waist. So it's wider over the bindings, narrower in the middle. It increases, does two things. It increases turn initiation, makes yep. it a little faster. More responsive. And then adds edge hold. Now over there, you can see that white highlight there. You got power pods. Um, they're a slight long extension. Both of them do really well. Today I could feel it gripping pretty well, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it, this is a perfect, perfect conditions for boards like these. These are really close. The, yeah. the prototype two I felt was just a step behind. A little washy, yeah. Yeah, it can handle hard snow, but it doesn't quite have the, like, the massive disruption like these do. These are both like hard snow and pretty competent. This is pretty competent in icy snow. Uh, that just really bites in there. It really, bite is appropriate in the name. Yeah. And the power pods um, are very close too. If you ride in hard to icy conditions often, it's nice to have that little extra disruption. Or just traversing quite a bit. Oh, which yeah. Which is what you do a lot here. Yes, and, and in most resorts, there's always somewhere you're going. Right. And I feel like this had very competent edge hold though. Yeah. And, and then, um, you know, let's talk about like, basically turn initiation, you know, the turning experience and carving. I felt like carving for me was the fury. Um, turning experience, all were fun. The fury feels a little more, even though these are both 57s, felt like a little longer, like a little more um, needly. You know needly what I mean? Needly is a good word to say, yeah. Yeah, or, it's a power needle. It yeah. felt like um, I wasn't wanting to make long, long cars with it. Yeah, and it had the most camber of all of them, so you could feel that whole side cut engage. Yeah. Where these, the side cut isn't always touching the snow. That's what makes it so hard with effective edge these days. Because you're like, yeah, the effective edge from here to here is whatever, but then this part's lifted, right? Mm -hmm. This part's lifted. So, like, what really of the effective edge are, are you on? And, and the Quiver Fury, though, really shines when I want to go out and carve regular and switch. Yeah. It's got a little notch, just a little notch ahead of the Proto. Feels more traditional camber, so I like that. Right. So, um, but this had the bite and the grip like that one, maybe even just a touch more. Um, but didn't quite have that camber, right? but still had enough camber, because the camber kind of stops right at the bindings and starts rockering. But it had enough camber to really power through a turn and give you a little spring. Well, it still had the width too, to really, really engage the edge fully. Yeah, toe drag free. 100%. Now the prototype too was the most interesting when it came to a car. It has this cool ripsaw camber profile, so it's a mellow rocker going to a pretty aggressive camber and the tip and tail not coming down. And what I found is like, sometimes a lot of hybrid rocker boards let you down when you're carving. This one doesn't. And you no, don't I'm have to surprised. do this, you know, to really put pressure exactly. down on that rocker. Right. Um, you could just keep your normal style. And um, I felt like, you could really lay into a turn, and once this camber started coming into play, it had yeah. good spring out of it. Yeah. It's very different. Um, and both of these boards are very forgiving. Yeah. This Fury is a little more catchy. Oh, it definitely. I, 
I could feel the edge catching actually quite a bit. Even on the um, on the flats, yeah. Uh, when we we're on the cat tracks, I felt the edge trying to catch quite a bit. And that's almost camber. It just yeah. has a touch of early rise. Yeah. And when you press down, you get a little more. But um, it is what do they call it? Uh, cam oh. out. Cam out uh, camber. Yeah, cam out. K so C O C. Yeah, and all three of these are asymmetrical twins. So when you want to ride switch, these things all just jam and they all make the, on top of that, they make the turning even more symmetrical than a twin. Yeah. You know, so they're, yeah. they're, they take your asymmetry and make it symmetrical. It's my favorite way to ride a twin. They're not quite ideal setting them back, so when you get these boards, you want to keep them centered. Yeah. I know some people who set them back and like it. Yeah. Um, but you're, then you're getting off the asymmetry. Yeah, you're not using the effective edge appropriately. Yeah, um, and Nick said it right, uh, you know. But, I mean, all of these, and then when it came to speed, despite the fact that Never Summer's loose, it's the dampest by far. Yeah, and I mean, it's probably the top sheet in the side cut, I think. They just, do they do damp well. Yeah. They do construction really well. We were talking about Pryor's construction. I, yeah, I would put it up there with Pryor, yeah, yeah, as far as construction is concerned. Something about these North American made, uh, yeah. these North American made. Um, Good wood up here, you know? Yeah, they're doing they're doing great stuff there. They've, they've done a great job with the construction. These boards just last forever. It's got a cool top sheet too, but this is the dampest. And this is the best in uneven terrain. There's just nothing better. And there's never summer some of the best in the business when it comes to uneven terrain riding. So where it might not have the same personality in all conditions, it really makes up for it with speed and uneven terrain because you've just got the dampness. You can just weave in and out of moldals. All of these are super fast turners. This one's not as fast as you would think for a 151. Yeah. But didn't you feel like, did you like- But I felt you, a lot of control at high speeds with it though. Yeah. I would yeah. say that, yeah. And it felt like it handled um, like quick turning. Like if you wanted to do quick turns through bumps, this would handle it pretty well. Being a little bit wide, yeah, you had to work a little bit to get to that point. Mm -hmm. But being the ASIM, you definitely do catch that, that next edge really well. But um, I will say that there's a little bit of a oh, wait period. Yeah, yeah, the transitioning, there's it's it's wider. So it, yeah, it feels like, okay, you're here and then you're here. Yeah, yeah. Where even though it's shorter, the size does definitely help. Size matters. Yeah, the yeah. size, the size <laughs> does help make it a faster turner and it <laughs> completes a turn easier. <laughs> It can fit in snaking turns better. Yeah. But well. but the width, you know, um, that's a problem in bumps. Yeah. And these two guys are needles. <coughs> they just jam through. The old greats was like yeah. had a shape like these guys, kind of a smaller waist, and then going out like this. Sure. You know, and then um, I would say the least damp, surprisingly, is the Fury because yeah. it's got that softer flex. And it kind of a, you would think it's a, a damp board just from feeling the top sheet. Um, it's kind of almost that like a skate grip uh, top sheet. So you would think it would be, but it's not really. Mm -mm. I think it goes this, this, and this. But then when when it's pop, I think it goes this and this are tied. Here's yep. the weird thing about Never Summer. They feel damp and kind of like, are these gonna be dead? And then you pop. Yeah, and you soar. Yes, they pop hard. And this doesn't quite pop as much as the other two. And if you're looking for that lively, super poppy board, then yeah, maybe these two will be, will, will, will get you off a little bit better, um, yeah. off the ground. Easy, easy. Get you off the ground. Easy. Yeah. Um, but this will, um, this does have pop, um, but you know, and then powder, it's definitely these two guys. Yep. That that mostly camber thing. I mean, hey, it's gonna ride better than full camber and powder, but yeah. it's still not like, you know, it's like this board, if you were up to 154, this would have more surface area and more float than both of these yeah, at 57. Yeah, a lot of Yeah. yeah. Um, and then park, you know, Nick, I can let you kind of speak to these a little bit. 
a lot of my kids that I coached over the years were actually on protos. Uh, I think actually probably 60 or 70 percent of them were on protos and did really, really well. It's kind of the do-it-all board. If you're a jump jock, this is another great board for you too. It, it's stiffer. It's going to feel great off your heel side edge or your front side. Front yeah, side you know, despite the fact it doesn't have the pop of these two boards for yeah. like an ollie, you're right, it does have a nice stable platform mm -hmm. underfoot that's really easy to approach. Yes. And then it's forgiving in landings. Yep. Yeah, your, your setup turn to your your uh, your takeoff right off the lip is going to be 100% know exactly what you're doing um, with a board like this and what you're getting into. So it's a great, great jump board. And for pipe though? Pipe, yeah. Of... Still going to rip, yeah. Yeah. Um, phew. Um, it's a tough call. It is kind of a tough call. They all drive the wall well. They all have, you know, those really nice edges. I lean more towards this for riding pipe. Um, I just, this is kind of my overall favorite in general. Yeah. Because for me, the pipe, I like the Fury and the Proto a little oh, better sure. than the Greats because the width for me, it's hard to, you know, oh, I'm not as strong in the, the pipe. Yeah. It's hard to just get over on that toe, you yeah. know, to go up backside and then get up over on that toe edge where these just, quickly go over and yeah. that that's really fun for me but i still have a blast riding pipe in this yeah. i like the old greats that had a shape more like the fury uh when it was longer and narrow mm -hmm. and i rode a 56 and that 56 was great in the pipe that was my pipe my spring pipe board sure. uh, but yeah and then jibbing i think you uh, like yeah. that one best huh? yeah i think that overall i was like yeah yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then second, second there. Yeah, third here. That's soft. Yeah, and it can do it, but mm -hmm. that camber, it's just. I wouldn't pick it for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but overall, they all shine in their own way. Mm -hmm. I think this is the fun, shorter. You know, you can go down a little bit in size usually, and it fits regular boots and wide boots, uh, yeah. bigger boots. Like you can kind of almost get into the mid wide world if you size up. Um, it's not a true mid-wide, but it's a mid-wide. This is definitely best for 10 and under, mm -hmm. set up correctly. Sure. And then this is best for, um, you know, for uh, really just, like they have a board for every boot size. And yeah. I think both of these are great all-rounders. Yeah. This just does a couple things really well. It is an, an amazing favorite for a quiver board. If you get a, asymmetrical twin for groomers and you're primarily focused on carving mm -hmm. and you know getting some air and riding some pipe and if you have a powder board and a quiver fury you could have a great life yeah i will i, I hate when the detour says this when they could pair riders and things it's like oh he's the sports utility vehicle of snowboarding he could do it all but i will say this is like the switz army knife this is kind of the whatever you kind of need it to do she will do it for you. And, and same with this guy too. Yeah, yeah. I think this guy doesn't do as well in hard snow. Maybe Neither of them many. set back in powder. So nice. if you set back in powder, but if you're like Nick and you can you can ride switch just as well in powder as you ride regular and you let your fine centered, then these definitely they're they're like they're the mountain freestyle Swiss Army knives, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Cool. So there's our comparison.